But uh, we, we've moved now. We've moved to a place called Pinner. We only moved to Pinner because the estate agent said to us, he said, oh, Pinner is a lovely part of West London. <laughs> West London. We get Welsh telly. It's, uh... <laughs> It's not London, it's not London, but it is very nice. One of the things I like about where we live is uh, it, it's very multicultural. I think that's one of the brilliant things about London. I think multiculturalism is something we really have to fight for. Like the school my kids go to, it was very easy to pick a school for my kids because obviously we just picked the one with the highest ceilings. But um, <laughs> the, the school they go to, it's a really nice school and it's very diverse. Like we have a mum's night out once a month and all the mums from the school go and there are women there from every economic background, every race, every religion religion and we have a fantastic time and the Muslim mums drive us home. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, I tell you what, it, it is nice. I, I had an incident the other day though. I was walking down the street near where I live and uh, it was one of those sunny days, uh, one of those days that remind some van drivers that women have breasts. You know one of those. <laughs> And um, I was walking down the street and there was a van drove up and slowed down and two guys leaned out of the van and they were in classic kind of leching position. And I knew they weren't going to be looking at me because I am 44 years old. And uh, in fact, my older friends, when I was turning 40, they said, oh, being over 40, oh, it makes you invisible, right? And I have found, yes, that is true, but the brilliant thing is it mostly makes you invisible to dickheads. <laughs> so it's not really a problem. It's a superpower, if anything. So... I'm walking down the street, these two guys are leaning out of this van, and I see they're leching, but they're looking past me at a younger woman, a woman in her 20s, who is walking alongside me. And these guys do the classic thing, they lean out of the van, and they gave this woman a very detailed appraisal of her anatomy. You know, they covered all the main areas in bullet-pointed form, very thorough. <laughs> and then they went on to suggest what I can only describe as a smorgasbord of activities they felt they would enjoy indulging in with her, where they not under pressure of time to get to the next plumbing job. <laughs> So they did all this and they drove off and naturally I turned to this woman and I said, oh my gosh, are you okay? That was horrific. And she said, no, I'm fine, it happens all the time. And I thought, yeah, it does when you're in your 20s, doesn't it? And we were chatting about how silly it was as we walked down the street and then we got further down the road and the traffic had slowed down and this van had come to a stop. And I think a few years ago I would have just left it, said nothing. But this year I thought, you know what, if I'm going to be invisible, you know who else is invisible? Ninjas. <laughs> I'm going to be a bloody middle-aged ninja. I'm going to strike, right? So I went up to the van and I just leaned in and I said, oh, hi, guys. Uh, listen, sorry to bother you. I just wanted to say thank you so much for what you did back there because my son here has been undergoing a very difficult gender reassignment. <laughs> worried that it's not going that well, but what you did back there really made him feel like a proper woman. <laughs> Thank you. I was delighted with myself as well. But what was really special was that then the young woman next to me leaned in beside me and in the deepest voice I've ever heard just went, yeah, thanks guys. <laughs> beautiful moment. Obviously it wasn't perfect. The only thing that could have made it perfect would have been if the guys in the van had said, actually, if your child is undergoing a gender reassignment, it's incredibly insensitive of you still to be referring to her using the male pronoun. <laughs> they didn't do that, they just called her slags. <laughs> <laughs>